Hey friends, Flair here with another streamer tutorial. Tonight we're going to talk about hate raid protection. I use two different methods to protect against hate raids in my channel. The first and foremost is active protection using Seribot, and I'll go into that later. The second is a bunch of tools I've put together with streamer.bot, which I'm going to go through tonight. And uh, they give me a panic button as well as offline hate raid protection. Seribot is a bot written by the wonderful Seri Codes on Twitch. Um, there, here's the channel. Uh, it's twitch.tv slash Seri underscore bot. Um, I'll put a link in my description anyway. But this bot is awesome for hate raid protection. Um, I've been in channels where it happened um, and a follow bot kind of thing started happening. And I'll, after a couple seconds of the streamer like trying to turn alerts off or whatever, all of a sudden Seribot kicks in and starts banning all the people coming in and it just shut it down. Um, and after that it was just nothing and the streamer was able to continue. So it was really cool to see and I recommend it to everyone. Um, and really all you have to do is go into the Seribot channel and type exclamation join and as a, at a baseline that's all you need to do to get the protection and then oh you also have to moder add them as a moderator in your channel so now i'm going to show you through the actions i've set up on streamer bot to help me um moderate during a follow bot attack or a hate raid so i have two actions called lockdown and unlock and basically what lockdown does is it turns slow mode on in your channel it turns subscriber on, mo only mode on it turns follower only chat on it clears the chat and then it also um, hides my any visible chat element of my overlay and then I, similarly I have an unlock action that undoes all of that stuff so let's set up this lockdown action I'm gonna go ahead and right click and create a new action called Lockdown demo. And we're basically just going to use a bunch of this Twitch sub actions to help us out here. We're going to go slow mode and then 10. So that just makes it so that people can chat only once every 10 seconds. We're going to go Twitch subscriber only mode. And then we're also going to turn follower only mode on. There isn't an automatic mode for that. So we have to send a message to the channel as the broadcaster and just enable it with the slash command that's built into Twitch, which is followers 30 minutes. So that means pe only people that have been following for 30 minutes or more can chat. Um, and then we're also going to send another message to the channel from the broadcaster to clear the chat. And then I also added a sub action with OBS to set the visibility of my chat to hidden. And that's it for the lockdown. So then to make the unlock action, we basically want to make uh, just undo all of that. So we will add an unlock demo action and then just keep going in with those Twitch actions. Twitch, um, subscriber only, no. Twitch, slow mode, no. And then we also want to undo the follower mode, which we have to use a Twitch slash command for. So we go send message to channel with the broadcaster account and do slash followers off. And then finally, I want to re-enable the visibility of my chat. Set source visibility state. Chat, stream elements chat. And that's it. The lockdown and unlock actions form the core kind of protection that I've set up in StreamerBot. Um, they're called in two different places, and this is where we get into the nested actions. The first place is that they are called from my panic and relax actions, which in turn call the lockdown action and then do a couple extra things, 
We'll get into those in a minute. The other place that I've that calls the lockdown and unlock actions is a event that fires at the start and end of stream. And you set that up by going to stream apps and clicking on OBS tab. And you can see down here I have stream started and stream stopped. Um, you can add these by clicking, right clicking down here and clicking add. And you can see this whole list of events that OBS triggers. You know, transitions, cameras stop, recording stopped, um, sources changed, everything. But then there's also, there's streams, stream started and stream stopped. And you want to pick those. So the stream started event fires my unlock action. So if any of that subscriber only, slow mode or whatever was on, when my stream starts, it turns all that stuff off. And then when my stream stops, it calls the lockdown method. And so that at, at the end of my stream, it automatically turns on subscriber mode, follower only mode, etc. So that when my stream is offline, I can't get a hate raid in my chat when I'm not even there to do anything about it. Okay, so now let's quickly revisit the panic and relax actions that I set up as well. Um, first of all, the panic action, what it does is it creates a stream marker in my chat um, so that later I can review easily when this happened. Um, it then sends a message to chat saying, I'm initiating panic mode, hang tight. Um, and then it runs the lockdown action. And then once that's all I've run, I also trigger a 90 second commercial in my channel so that to take advantage of all of the followers in the follow, you know, if you got a bunch of, uh, bot viewers, might as well give them an ad anyway. And then relax does the same thing. It calls the unlock action and then it sends a message to Twitch saying I'm exiting panic mode, time to relax. Um, so what I can do with these is uh, I can, uh, I have them set up as buttons in my stream deck. So if this, have, heaven forbid, uh, this ever happens to me when I'm streaming live, which it hasn't yet, um, I can just press my panic button and uh, be done with it. If you don't have that kind of thing, you can also set up a, ch a chat command. Um, I think I did both so that um, I can also, uh, I may have taken them away actually, but you can set it, set it up, but you can set it up as a voice control command. You could set it up as a chat command. The benefit of setting it up as a chat command is you could also, your mods could also enable it if you allow it. Anyway, uh, that's what I've done. I wanted to share some of the things that I've found to help protect against hate raids and uh, not just keep it to myself.